Hello everybody. Uh, we're going to do a fun project. This is a website called Photopia. And it's similar to Photoshop except it's free. And I like free. And this is an online uh, website. So you can go there if you want to open up your browser. It, I don't think it matters what you use. I'm using Google Chrome. If you want to use Internet Explorer uh, or Microsoft Edge, whatever you have for a browser, Safari, um, I think any of those will be fine. Uh, it, it shouldn't matter. The website's the same. Um, but you can see the spelling on your screen, Photopia, it's a strange spelling, dot com. So P-H-O-T-O-P-E-A dot com. And anytime during this uh, demonstration, if I go a little bit fast, which sometimes I do, the good thing about video is you just pause the video, back it up, and you can watch that section again. All right? So first thing we're going to do is we need to get a photo. And... Um, what we're going to do now is something a little gross, but we're going to we're going to do what I call the extreme makeover. We're going to do a few projects, uh, editing an actual photo, a person's face, and the one thing that's kind of gross is people with when you get pimples. So you may have taken a um, school photo, and maybe the day of the school photos you had a big old zit right in the middle of your nose. Well, they actually have a uh, an option on your form when you ordered your photos where you could have paid extra and they could have done some blemish removal to get rid of the blemishes, the, the little pimples. Um, and then they have something called professional touch-up. I think it was like $12 additional to make your photo look even better. So they spend a little time editing your photo. And they use Photoshop for that. Adobe Photoshop is, is the well-known uh, software for using it, but it's a little bit expensive. It's $9 a month. Uh, it's like a subscription where this is completely free. So go to google.com and you can see what I typed up here. I type face with pimples and spell it correctly because if you do it differently or you write it differently, you'll get a different result. Because I want you to get the same exact photo I'm getting today so we're working together. So face with pimples and this first photo right here, this is the one I'm going to get. So... If you click on it, it will actually show to your right. And when you see this photo, if you, when you click on it over here, it should open over here a little larger. So this is just a, a photo we're going to borrow for educational purposes. So we're going to right click your mouse button, right click, and this will come up and select copy image. So I'll click on copy image. And then I will go back to the Photopia website, and then we're going to start a new project. Now, when you first open this website, there was probably a banner at the top that said Photopia. You click on that little tiny little X, and that'll close that banner so you see what I'm seeing here. Okay, so on the top left, it says File. You click on File, and you go to New. And when it comes up, you got a new project. It says here. So I'm going to name that. I'm just going to type it acne. A-C-N-E. Acne. And then the width and the height. It says PX. That stands for pixels. Your images are made up by pixels. And pixels per inch. But we're going to change this. I'm going to scroll down and get the I-N. That stands for inches. And then the width and the height. Alright. So our width. If you want to delete what's in there. I'm going to put my width is going to be 8 inches. And my height, which I have in there already, but I want to set my height to 10 inches. So you can just put 8 there, click in here, and I'll put 10. The DPI is called dots per inch. You can leave that alone. It says 72. And my background says white. That's fine. And right here is a little button that says create. So click on create. And it's going to start our project. All right. And so we have a blank screen. So... So Photopia or Photoshop is laid out with your tools here on the left. This is your toolbar. Uh, this is your menu at the top. And on the right, these are called layers, and layers are pretty awesome. It's kind of, if you think of a stack of papers, you're going to stack things on top of each other, and you can move them up and down, put one on top of the other. Um, that's how Photoshop and Photopia works. And we'll get into that another time, but we'll use a little bit of the layers over there. All right, so now we want to get our image in here. It's just a blank piece of paper. So we're going to go to Edit and go down to Paste. 
Now on the right it says Control V. That's another shortcut to paste it. And I'll click Allow. This says it wants to get image on clipboard. I'll click Allow on that. And there's our picture. Now I want to make this a little bit bigger. So if you look on the right now, we have two layers. We have a background layer, and then this layer one is the photo layer that I have. So I'm going to select this. To select this, there's a couple ways to do it. So um, uh, let me see. I'm going to go to image and I'll get up oh, transform. All right, so there's a shortcut on your keyboard. So I want you to look at your keyboard, and you have a Control key, CTRL, and an Alt key. And if you have an Apple computer, um, I think it's uh, your Apple key, and there's a Command key. So I'm going to press Control Alt, hold those two keys down, and then once you and then press the letter T, Control Alt T, and that's called Free Transform. It selects this. So again, hold down the Control Alt key and then the letter T. Tap it. And then you'll get this selection. You'll get these little boxes around here. So I'm going to grab this little corner box with my left mouse and we'll hold it down. And then I'm just going to drag it so it goes in. Now don't squish it like this. So I want to show you a little trick. I want to click the X sign here. Cancel that. Control Alt T. If you hold your Shift key down, Hold your shift key down and grab the corner. It won't squish. It'll automatically scale your image equally from the width and the height. That way it won't um, it won't uh, distort your photo. Okay, once that's been scaled, you get all the way to the edge, a little bit bigger, so we can work on it a little easier. You click on this check mark at the top called confirm, or you can also press your enter key and it accepts it. Alright. So I have my layer over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that layer. So there's two ways to do it. There's I can go up here to I think to layer and I select duplicate layer and it's going to make an extra copy of this picture. Or see that shortcut on the right? These are the shortcuts control J. So you can click duplicate layer or control J. And you look on the right, it says layer 1, layer 1 copy. All right? So I'm just going to leave that. You can rename these, by the way, but I'm going to leave it for now for this project. Keep it simple today. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom in on the photo. All right, to zoom in, hold your control key down with your left finger. Control, hold it down. And then you have a plus and minus sign. It's probably next to your backspace key. So control and tap the plus key, and that zooms in. Minus will zoom out if you hold control down. And I just want to make it a little bit bigger so it's a little easier to work on. All right, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so trying to get something here all right so you can see the pimples and we would like to get rid of those so what I want to do let me adjust something here is I'm going to get a tool over here on my toolbar and it looks like a band-aid it's called a spot healing brush all right and I'm gonna have to bring my photo down so I can zoom in I can't scroll in my whoops and I just did something now if you mess up you can undo so if you go to edit undo a redo like that. Control Z is your shortcut for undo. So I got to zoom in and I'm going to drag this photo down. So it's let me let me get this. So this is my move tool here. This little arrow at the top left. 
On yours, you can scroll down. You should be able to scroll down when you zoom in a little bit. I got this recorder software and it's kind of preventing me from doing some things. Let me just bring this down so you can see that photo of what I'm doing. There we go. And let me get my little screen off to the side. It's blocking me. Okay, so again, I'll go back to my little Band-Aid here. And if I hold it down, I see different tools there too. See, if you have red eye, you can pick, fix that. Um, but I'm going to do the first one just by hitting brush. And you'll see the size of this circle. So up here, the top, these are the adjustments for your tool. When you pick a tool, you'll see adjustments different for every tool. I pick this one. I'm going to get this one. It says 24, and it's kind of soft. It's called soft mechanical 24 pixels. Click on that. What it does, it fades at the edge. This is called a hard circle. The edge, you can see it. See how the edge is defined? It's, it's called a hard edge. This is a soft edge where it's kind of like spray paint. It fades out at the edge. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go show you. Here's a pimple. And you can adjust the size of this. If you look at your letter P on the keyboard, to the right of your letter P, you have these bracket keys. You have a right bracket. If I tap it, it makes a circle bigger. My left bracket next to the letter P makes it smaller. So make it a little bit bigger. And then just click on this. And it takes a second. And boom, it's gone. Click. It's gone. It's gone. Look at that. Quick and easy. All right. So pick the ones that are kind of by themselves. And you'll be able to just kind of click on them and get rid of them. Now. Sometimes when you when you get, if you get too close, like to the hair, uh, and if I click on something, it'll it'll do something weird where it might take a chunk of hair and bring it over. So you want to undo that. So Control Z is undo or Edit undo. Now this is a group cluster, kind of a cluster of pimples here. So what I'm going to do is hold my mouse button down and I'm going to paint. I'm going to hold and drag the mouse just like that and let go, and it gets a chunk. Now, if you can see that it's obvious what you added, you probably want to undo and try it again. So it's kind of like hit and miss, trial and error. So go ahead and, and then we'll go through this. So if you want to, you know, pause the video for a moment and then go through and try this. So that's what you can do is once I go through this, you, you do a little bit, you pause the video. Do a little bit, pause the video because you probably won't remember everything I said. So I'm going to go ahead and finish editing this. I'm just going to do a quick job. It's not going to be perfect, but... At least you know what to do. And again, if you get something that looks like you can tell you edit it, you want to stop right there and undo that step. Otherwise, you have to undo all these other steps. Especially when you get close to the shadow right here on the nose when I click on this. Sometimes it can pull that shadow in and it does weird things. So, of course, on the forehead. So we're just going to clear this up. And it's not perfect, but I just want to quickly show you. Now, over here on the right, you have the layers towards the bottom. And see these little eyeballs? These are called show hide. So I'm going to click. I duplicated that layer. The original one's here, layer one. And the one I edited is layer one copy. So if I click on that little eyeball, watch. Whoops. Now, <laughs> I drug mine back. Let me zoom out. I need to line my photo up again because what I'm going to do, you can't do. So to move my photo, I'll get my move tool here. And just bring that back. Okay. So now I turn that off. There's before, after. Before, after. Let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. So now that's the original. That's the edited one. So you can kind of see what I did. All right, so that's all we're going to do today. This is just a simple, going to get you started.